All right, today I'm gonna show you some stupid relay tricks. Now, years and years ago, I was taking electron or taking an electrical class, and our instructor handed out these relays. And the very first thing I did was I looked at this wiring diagram here. Terminal 85 and 86 for your coil. 87 and 30 are normally closed, and 80, oh sorry, that's 87A and 30 are normally closed, 87 and 30 are normally open. And so, looking at that, it uh, took me about 30 seconds and I made a buzzer out of a relay. So I'm gonna show you how to play with relays and how to understand how they work. Now, I'm, I've just got some wires here and some terminals on them. I'm going to have my power come in on 85, and 85 is this one here. So, whenever I put it in, oh, that's upside down. Okay, that's going to be 85 right there. So, that's my, oh, that's power for the coil. I want power for the load to be, so I need 87 to be the red wire. 87 is this one here. So, all right, let's see if that fits. Okay, so carrying the load away, I want to use yellow, which is going to be terminal 30, which is going to be opposite of that. And I'm thinking, I use the Packard 56 connectors for this, and it looks like they're going to work. All right. So for my coil, I think I'm going to use blue and green. So I'm going to use blue for the hot side and green for the cold side. Now there's not actually a hot and cold side. That's a coil. It is not polarity sensitive. So however you want to wire it, if you want your power on 86 and your ground on 85, or your power on 85 and your ground on 86, it's not going to matter. But just for giggles, I'm going to try to wire it in a way that makes sense to me. And an easy thing to remember is the coil wires are opposite each other. And that means this last wire here in the center is your normally closed contact for the relay. And that does not want to go in there. This is a tight fit. I probably should have done that one first since it's right there in the middle. No, I had it right the first time. There it goes. I heard it click. All right, so the relay does it go into these. Oh, it is a snug fit, but it does. So, when I say that, that one just backed out. Okay, so now I've got a pigtail here. How would you go about making a buzzer out of this? Look at this wiring diagram. Well, you can see that your coil is 85 and 86. So if you apply power and ground to 85 and 86, then it's going to activate the relay. It's gonna pull. Now, 87A and 30 would, can carry a load until it's activated. So if you put 85 and 86 in series with 87A and 30 and run your power Let's say you loop 86 to 87A, you run power in on 85 and you ground 30, you've made a buzzer. Whenever you apply power to it, it's going to pull and open that circuit and it's going to drop the power. And as soon as it closes, it's going to reconnect that circuit and it's going to pull the power again. So it's going to cycle itself. Now, relay is rated at you know so many cycles. 
if you use this for a buzzer and you plug it in and you leave it, it's going to burn up. Uh, especially if you just leave it for, you know, continuously. It's going to get hot. It's going to melt the inside. It's not going to work. But let's try this. All right, I got my jump box here. I have the power going to the co one side of the coil here. Here's the two coil wires in between, and there's the ground to the uh, the controlled side of the circuit. So I'm gonna turn this on, and then touch these two together. Hear that? That's that relay cycling real fast. If you hold it, you can feel it buzz. That's how to make a buzzer out of a relay. Um, so, you know, things to think about from this. You know, what can you do with a, a relay? Well, there's all kinds of stuff. Uh, it, it's a control circuit that's controlled by other circuits. So, and just to prove a few points here, what's going to happen if I switch the polarity? Same thing. All I've done is reverse that current through that contact and through that coil. So I hope that gives you a little bit of insight into how relays work and how you can have them control stuff. So basically the 85 and 86, the coil over here, that's your low power side of the circuit. Uh, you can run just 18 gauge wire and, and a, you know a little toggle switch or whatever to control the relay And then you can run all heavy gauge wire on 87 and, and 30 and, and basically this this is the way most relays are used Most relays are used with a normally open contacts and then whenever you apply power to the coil It closes those contacts and allows a high current to pass So if you have a if you have electric fans if you want to run electric fans You can have a very you can have a, a coolant temperature sensor with 18 gauge wire that just basically you run power through this to the coolant temp sensor and then have the coolant temp sensor ground to whatever it's in, you know, a single wire coolant temp sensor. And then on this side, you would run a heavy gauge wire through a fuse, that's important, to terminal 87 or terminal 30, it doesn't matter, they're, they're, they're not polarity sensitive. And then you would have the other terminal go to your fans and then from your fans to ground. And so whenever that coolant temp sensor on this side sees that current, it, it'll pull this, this closed in here, it'll pull the contacts closed, and all of a sudden that high current can go to your fan. Simple. All right, so I've grabbed the light real quick. Uh, this is a fog light out of a Volkswagen. That was a hunk of junk car. And uh, my jump box is a little weak, so it takes it a second, but you can see, running through the relay, I've got the blue wire going to power and the corresponding green wire for the coil over here, and that's what I'm touching to make it go on and off. The red wire for power is going to the light and then to the relay, and the corresponding lead for the relay is going here to ground. So, when I touch that, lights up. Now I can switch this so that the power goes to the relay first and then to the light. I can reverse these wires since the light's not polarity sensitive. I can reverse the yellow and the red wire here. And the relay does not care. Relays are not polarity sensitive. So, to reiterate, I don't know if I get the light right on this. It took me a few minutes and the lighting's changed with the sun going down. So you have your coil side and you have your power side. The coil side controls the load side of the circuit. Load side power, the load side of the circuit. I shouldn't have said power side. The control side controls the load side. And you can have your power, your ground, your load, however you want it the relay doesn't care. So I hope that gives you a good primer on how to wire up relays and uh, thank you for watching.